morning, good morning guys from Istanbul right now. We are in an area called Eminönü and we are doing another exploration day here in Istanbul. So I will be around this Galata bridge which you can see just behind me and I want to show you the lifestyle here, maybe check out some foods, bazaars as always and maybe check out also the this beautiful and very delicious snack places which you can find around in Istanbul almost everywhere basically so this is another part of Eminönü where you can actually get your fish and bread which is a very very famous uh, snack slash food option here there are these uh, beautiful boats in a distance which they actually make the fish there they basically grill it for you and afterwards they just put it between the bread and they put some onions herbs basically that's how they serve the food and there's also little small tables here where you can sit and enjoy the food uh, it's quite early morning at the moment so we are not really gonna get uh, anything to eat but we can possibly go record how they're making the fish and meanwhile you are sitting here you can also get some salted vegetables this is the options you have I think this is a cabbage and uh, pickles basically you can just buy you can drink actually the juice of it and also you can eat the itself too all right let's uh, have a look if we get a permission to record how they are grilling the fish Merhabalar, kolay gelsin içeri çekebilir miyiz mümkün mü problem yok Ah, buradan. Tamam, tamam. Super. So they don't allow us to go inside, but this is basically where they are grilling the fish on the boat, and they have the salad. Once uh, the order comes, they just put the fish between bread. Here we go. That's how they prepare it. Put a little bit salad with onions, and it's ready for serving. Super fast, faster than McDonald's food, actually. Right. This is where you can sit, chill, and eat your food. Teşekkürler. Right, I don't know why, but uh, they normally don't allow to go in that area, but uh, we respect the decision. But at least you see it from the far, what they are serving. So this is another snack option here, which you can always get. It's uh, basically corn, and you also have the chestnuts. Very basic uh, snacks to get. And we also have the smith station right here. So we might uh, quickly get a smith from here. Let's see how much it costs. Merhabalar, kolay gelsin. Abi bir tane smith alabilir miyiz lütfen? So we are getting a one smith. This basically outside is the seat and it's a circle shaped uh, pastry. Very, very famous in Turkey in general. They eat this for any time of the day. Ne kadar abi? 7.5. 7, tamam. Bir saniye. Burada 50 var. Teşekkür. So these are the prices. Bunun arasında normalde bir şeyler koyuyor musunuz? Yapmıyoruz abi. Yapmıyorsunuz. Yapıyoruz. Ya yapıyoruz. Ne koyuyorsunuz? Peynir, çikolata. Tamam. Okay. Teşekkürler. So normally they can put also some chocolate. They can put some cheese. Çok teşekkürler. Abi bunu alsana. Şeyde kuruşlar. Teşekkürler. Kolay gelsin. Görüşürüz. So I'm gonna show you how it looks like. Famous pastry from Turkey. This is nothing new for me, and I don't really buy it often but since I'm making a video that's the reason I'm getting it for you guys so you can see how it looks like this is a uh, how this snack smith called and they can put something chocolate like between the smith and also they can have some um, cheese and basically outside is this uh, seat and uh, the rest is just a pastry so there's nothing really inside but it's a uh, super soft and it's a uh, great uh, snack for the morning especially you can just get it with the tea or coffee as you wish and uh, I want to show you also top of the bridge here this bridge called Galata bridge and just underneath that it's actually restaurants on both sides on the left side and also on the right side and we also have an incredible views to Galata tower in a distance it's been uh, raining this morning so you can see lots of clouds in a distance but it's not raining at the moment so I get the chance to record and take you through the process every season is beautiful in Istanbul that's for sure any weather is beautiful in Istanbul but uh, it can get really cold during the winter but uh, before summer after summer and during summer is probably the best period to come here so May June July August September it's a great time and later on you can get 
wet it can get really uh, cold as well so this is our views guys there's actually another bridge in a distance where the tram line goes or I have to call it the metro line goes uh, trams actually go from here so this is the tram line for the bridge and on the other side you have the metro line this is where we checked out the fish place and in a distance you have a beautiful views to the mosque there are lots of uh, breakfast places on top of here where you can actually get a great breakfast with the views to Istanbul which is uh, incredible we have another mosque which we were there a lot yesterday actually and uh, another very famous and iconic thing to see in Istanbul whenever you are here always come check out the Galata bridge you can just take a walk to the other side and uh, you will realize how many people are actually fishing here so in few seconds we already have some fishermen behind us but uh, in few seconds we're gonna see actually more of them sometimes even uh, not only men but also women stand here and doing the fishing uh, it's not for a business it's mostly for their own usage so they catch uh, some fish probably they cook it at home but it's really small fish so nothing like crazy to expect uh, again they don't make a business out of it it's just for their hobby I would call it and if they catch anything they would just basically uh, cook it and eat it so this is what we have so we have a mostly old gentleman they will be standing here catching some fish there's a, this nice gentleman, maybe let's uh, let's have a conversation with him. Merhaba, kolay gelsin. Nasılsınız? Bir şey tuttunuz mu? Yok. Yok, şimdi başladınız. Yok, yok. Balık yok. Balık yok. Bugün balık yok. Neden? Hava soğuk mu? Yok. Bir tane var ama. He catch the one fish. Kolay gelsin. Bay bay. He, he was saying that there is no actually fish today so probably because of the weather conditions possibly uh, I mean fish is always depends on many things the stream and the weather and their mood so but yeah ah here we go we have a one lady I'm so happy to show you actually so it's not only man is fishing in this area we have a hijabi lady actually also fishing there Merhabalar, kolay gelsin. <gülüyor> Balık var mı? Balık yok oğlum. Bugün yok. yok. Neden? Havadan mı? Yok, çilapok var oğlum. Aa, tamam. Birkaç tane tutmuşsunuz ama. Evet. So they have this uh, small ones here. But she's also confirming that there is not much fish. Tamam, kolay gelsin. Evet. Yeah. Today a little bit uh, unlucky day for the fisher people, I guess. But uh, it's still nice to see them. But normally, this uh, bridge is normally like quite full. So sometimes you have to find a spot actually to look down to the water. There's also another platform. You can actually take a stairs to go here. You can stand there, take your pictures if you like. But yeah, but normally this line is full of uh, fishermen. you are on the bridge you are actually crossing to the other side which is called Karaköy and just behind us where we came from is called Eminönü and uh, just before you get to the Karaköy area which is the other end of the bridge there is actually a little hidden uh, fish market right there there's also Karaköy station which is the boat station here and you can take a stairs actually to go down to check out the fish market which uh, actually we are going for it right now so while you are wandering around here if you are on the bridge you can just take the chance to go downstairs to see this uh, beautiful fish market we already purchased some fish yesterday uh, that's something we're not gonna buy I just want to show you how the market looks like and uh, as well as there's I think a juice place we can get some juice that will be that will be amazing so this is uh, one of the very busy areas uh, in Istanbul too 
It's the Karaköy. There's a tram line right here. There's a boat station on the right, and then there's a boat station on the left. And uh, there's also highways passing from here, which uh, can get quite busy actually in this area. So right now it's a uh, 10:56, so still quite. And we also have this uh, beautiful tree that it's uh, blooming at the moment. How beautiful is this? I'm uh, assuming this is something like a peach or something, possibly. Right. There's also this exit. You can proceed underneath the bridge to go other side. And if you're actually holding a Istanbul card like this one, you can actually use the toilet there, which costs you one lira. You can just scan your card and you can get into the toilet, which is super cool. I love the public transportation system here in Istanbul. It's just amazing. There are boats, uh, funiculars, uh, trains, metros and Marmaray. It's, uh, it's just incredible. The transportation system is so perfect and this city needs good transportation system. Otherwise, uh, there are so many people to move around the city. So we have a uh, huge seagulls. Look at this. The seagulls are also a big icon of uh, Istanbul. Look at this. They're, uh, they're stealing the fish actually. <laughs> Look at this. Ooh. There are so many of them. Uh, in general, seagulls is an icon of Istanbul, but the locals might have a different idea about it. Based on my research, I feel like locals don't really like it uh, because as, as much as they look beautiful, they look amazing and such a big bird, but they are very, very aggressive. They attack, they uh, steal the food, uh, they make uh, dirt everywhere in the city. So. Even it's such a big icon for Istanbul, but uh, they can be very aggressive and not pleasant birds. So as you saw, the, the big bird was actually stealing the fish. All right, we just arrived to the fish market. I want to show you what are the items we have here. It's an early morning, so everyone is setting up their shop and they're actually taking a credit card. So if you want to pay with your debit credit card, it's a possibility. And here they also have a little restaurant, so they can make the fish for you right here, and you can just eat. Uh, such a nice and colorful, clean market. Merhabalar, kolay yasın. Nasılsınız? Ben Azerbaycanlı. Siz? İstanbul'dan. Güzel, güzel. İstanbul güzeldi. So a gentleman is from Istanbul and he was just asking where I am from. Oh, he's uh, is he eating something? Merhabalar, kolay gelsin. Wow, we also have a vegetable section right here. <laughs> He's just holding the fish. Ooh. Wow, we have all these treasures here. Look at this big tuna here. We have a salmon. I have no idea what are the names of the rest of the fish. Only I, only thing I know is tuna and salmon, basically. Abi o arkadaş ne yiyordu? Oyster mı? Wait, uh, the gentleman was eating something. I'm assuming it was uh, oysters we might try out. Kolayasın abi. All right, no one, no one really cares about that. Kolayasın, nasılsınız? Merhaba. Uh, şey, arkadaş ne yiyordu? Oyster mı yiyordu? Oyster yiyordu. Bunu şimdi yiyebiliyor muyuz? Evet. Ah, süper. Kaç para? 25 lira. 25 lira, tamam. Ben bir tane alabilir miyim lütfen? It's uh, quite noisy here, actually. So they are selling uh, one oyster basically for 25 uh, liras. Ah, bu arkadaş mı? Bu arkadaş. Abi video kalkandan. Abi kolay gelsin. Abi şimdi tezgah şu şimdi muhabbet edelim ben kaldım beş tane. Anlamadım. Ben ben de ben de müşteriyim. Abi nasılsın? 
Oyster yiyebilir miyim lütfen? Abi kaç tane? Aa, biri 25 değil mi? Hey, 2 tane alacağım lütfen. He was like, I cannot talk. I'm making a business here. I say, I'm also businessman. Like, I want to buy something. I'm a customer. Abi bunlar nereden geliyor? Çanakkale değil. Nerede? Çanakkale. Çanakkale. Güzel. Oh, nice. You are putting uh, some lemon on top of it too, and then it's gonna be one big swallow. Abi 50 burada. Çok teşekkür ederim. Burada da burada da 20 var. O da sizin olsun. Teşekkür ederim. Super. Ellerinize sağlık. Alright, this is a fresh oyster from the fish market. Mm. So good. That was a just one swallow. So easy. Abi bunu nereye koyuyoruz? Ne sürüyorsun arabayı? Ben mi sürüyorum? Ben mi Okay, that's getting a, that's getting a little bit awkward. Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Abi, onu sonra yapsanız lütfen. Ben bunu alıp gideyim. Bir dakika bir dakika tamam onlar ben niye veriyorsun adamı Yapma ya. Abi bunu yere atın mı? At at abi. Ben mi Ay yavrum. Ay yavrum. Nerede öyle bu? Teşekkürler. Elinize sağlık. Niye tar niye tartışıyorsunuz? Yok yok biz bir, bir olay var da onu konuşuyoruz. Beni çağırma mı taşıyacaksın? Mecbur taşıyacaksın. Niye mecbur musun? O zaman getirme abi. Bir tane ver. Tamam biner gelirim otobüs abi. Teşekkürler. Amale. Right. Abi abi de. Hmm. Bir tane ne so good. 50 sevmeyecek misin 50 de ben. Abi. Arabaya biz oturuyoruz. Teşekkürler. Kendine iyi bak. Bay bay. That was uh, awkward. They start fighting while I'm filming. Or they were like discussing. I'm like, just give, give me whatever you have to give me so I can go. All right, this is the juice stand. We might get uh, some juice too. Let's see if, uh, if anyone gonna serve us. Merhaba, kolay gelsin. Şey, buna kim bakıyor? Bilmiyorum. Kapalı mı? Bilmiyorum. Bilmiyorsunuz. Nobody knows nothing here. All right. Teşekkürler. That's a very very awkward. So maybe I don't really recommend to come to this uh, bazaar. Like uh, I'm a customer trying to buy stuff there. Like everyone is like I don't know. Someone is fighting. Someone is doing this. And, but anyway, you know that it exists. It's there. So if you want to go check it out, you can actually grab some food too. Uh, so, but oyster was really really. Tasty. It was really good. Possibly we can get a fresh juice right here. Let's have a look. Hello, hi. Maraba. Uh, can I please have one juice? Yes, please. Thank you. Uh, pomegranate and orange. Nar, nar bir de uh, portakal lütfen. Çok teşekkürler. Kaç para? Small. Uh, small. Medium. Medium. Large. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have a medium, please. 75. 75. Yeah. Okay. It's uh, a little bit pricey here, but uh, we are gonna go for it. So 75 liras, you can get your uh, medium-sized juice. Which no mix at all. There's no water. There's no, I think, ice on it. So, and he's cutting everything just in front of you. İsmin ne abi? Akan. Akan. Akan. Neredensin? Karamanmaraş. Ne güzel. Karamanmaraş. Akan, burada 100 var kardeşim. There's a hundred lira right there. Kalan sen olsun abi. Teşekkürler. So he's uh, freshly squeezing everything for you guys. Sevilla, Espanol, Espanol, 
Sevilla'da oynuyor. And they also have this ice juice option. Uh, basically, they can fill up for you. And there's also ice cream, which is an iconic ice cream show you can get here. It's a little bit touristy area, so price is gonna be a little bit higher. Uh, the juice also you can get probably around like 50 lira somewhere else, even 40 at some point. But we are getting it for 75, which is like 25% a little bit more expensive. Oh, çok teşekkürler. Bayağı çabuk oldu. <laughs> Teşekkür ederim. Ellerinize sağlık. Bye bye. All right, we have the juice here, guys. Mm. Having a very healthy morning. Juice, oyster, very expensive life, guys. So I'm gonna show you something, guys. When you are here, there's a tram line here. It's called Karaköy Station, and there's actually. The second oldest metro here in Istanbul, uh, which only takes one minute and a half, has only two stations, and it's called Tunnel here, or in Turkish it's called Tunnel, and uh, you can actually get the chance to have a ride in the second oldest metro system in the world. And uh, we are actually only a few seconds away from it, so I would love to show you once uh, we get the chance to cross to the other side, okay. You take the advantage of the ladies, pass to other side, one more road, beautiful. So, as you can see, metro line is just behind me. And there's also this little bit hidden area. It's called uh, Tunnel. So this is the, the station where we get in. And we will pop up actually from the upper part of the, the city. So here it says time, like it's only 50 seconds left. And you can use uh, your Istanbul card, which we're gonna do as well. It only costs actually 10 lira, which is a great deal. Meanwhile, we have uh, 30 seconds. Let me show you a little bit around here. So there are lots of things you can read. There's actually the system where you can explain, they explain like um, how, where it goes through. And this is the oldest, second oldest uh, tunnel system here. Do we have the driver? We have the driver. It's nine time to go. We have the ring. And there we go. So we have uh, actually two wagons. One is the one we are in now. And there is actually another one that's gonna come from the front. So, only for 10 liras basically. It helps you a lot uh, to pop up on the other side without using uh, less energy so you don't have to hike all the way because Istanbul is quite uh, huge and uh, here's the another wagon just on the opposite side gonna pass us and the whole ride actually takes only one minute and a half so it's quite fast you save your time you save your energy and then you end up on the Istiklal uh, street, which is one of the main and very touristic areas. So if you are in the Galat area, it's very, very easy to hop on and then just pop on the other side. All right, we are almost there. We've been uh, super lucky with the timing, we just hop on and then it took us all the way up. really slows down when it arrives to the station. And this is their control system, so they don't really do much. It's only a few buttons they use, open the door, close the door, and uh, that's it basically. Here we are. That's it. This is the second oldest metro system in the world. 
and we just popped up from Karakoy area all the way to Istiklal which is a uh, main street basically in this area and a very interesting thing you have to know about the technology of the place so as you can see there's like a two wagons and in the past times where energy was so expensive it was hard to make they would basically use the momentum from one wagon to another one so they have exactly the same lengths so one would when it's coming down it would push the another one up actually and that's the history behind it and that's how they uh, been functioning it for for a while and they've been using coal in the past right now it's using electricity obviously so super cool uh, super cool experience and then once you arrive to the istiklal which is a very long uh, shopping street here you also have a chance to get uh, into this one of the oldest trams uh, so they are they are actually functioning at the moment but mostly tourists would uh, hop on to this and then get to the other side of the stick law so maybe a ride for this gonna take maybe two minutes three minutes or maybe a little bit longer to get to the Taksim square there are also this artist places here where you can actually purchase some drawings if you like there are also many uh, musical instruments you can get as well check this one out it's like drone like uh, this is a view to Istanbul it's the Galata bridge and uh, also the Galata tower and this is a uh, very Turkish colors lots of blue and this drawing as well and there are also mini ones here they sell actually for 300 liras looks beautiful it's the Galata and uh, old trams. So in general, this street gonna be very touristic. Obviously, prices are a little bit higher too, but you can find some unique shops if you wanna buy some uh, local instruments. That's an option. Like you find lots of shops like this one, where you can get uh, mini instruments as a souvenir if you like, and. Also, you can get some uh, small souvenir version of it, which will not be really functioning. It's just for a decoration. But this one's, I'm sure, gonna be functioning. So, so you, in this street, you will find lots of artists, and also you will see lots of uh, souvenirs, uh, including like a jewelry. So they might uh, they might be having their own small shops, and they make their artwork, especially the accessories i love uh, rings in general so normally i go to the shops to check out what they have new yeah it's a little cute street also they have a clothing here and i'm gonna bring you to galata bridge area, galata tower area and also i will show you one of the iconic uh, cakes here which is called uh, San Sebastian cake and it's super delicious and it's very very famous in this area so we might get a little bit of experience how they make it I mean the cake is all normally it's done they just serve it to you with a tea or coffee whatever you like and around Galata um, tower area it's more iconic to have it and most of the uh, cafes will have and will be serving that type of a cake which I'm gonna show you very very soon ah, we might uh, we might get some uh, soap possibly here there's a little soap shop here these are normally used for a hammam basically you have the towel you have the soap and this one costs actually 150 lira Merhaba, kolay gelsin Nasılsınız? Ben deyim, teşekkür ederim. And they also have the mini cute ones here. This one actually uh, 20 lira. So we might get actually two. Uh, ben bunu iki tane alabilir miyim sabun lütfen? Tabii, var orada. Uh, sadece iki tane. Tamam. So it's gonna be 40 lira basically for two. Uh, hangisini tavsiye ediyorsunuz? Küçük 
küçüklerden mi istiyorsunuz? Ha küçüklerden evet. Ne için? Yüz için mi yoksa oda kokusu için? Ha oda kokusu güzel olur evet. Tamam. So this is actually for the room smell basically. Ha. Bir tatlı ve bir ha. fresh. Oh süper. Limon. This is lemon okay. Yeah. Oh this one smells good so okay. yeah güzel. Tamam bunları hediye paketi yapıyoruz. Um, Gerek yok ya sadece rap o kadar aynen teşekkürler. So we are getting a one olive oil which is a grape seed and also I'm getting a olive oil this is a lemon texture into it. So you can basically use it uh, just to smell up your room or you can put it between your uh, clothes in the wardrobe so to smell it up. But I'm sure you can use it for your hands too. Şey Onları el içinde kullanabiliyor muyuz? Evet, el vücut. El vücut, okey. Teşekkürler. El vücut yüz. Tamam. Çok teşekkürler. Alright, she's uh, packing it up for us. But yeah, so you can get a little souvenirs here. Uh, mağazanın ismi ne? Homespa. Homespa, yeah. güzel. Lavanta. Lavanta. Aa. Aa, çok teşekkür ederim. Uh, parasız. Bu bizim hediyemiz. Ha, hediye. Çok teşekkür ederim. Tamam o 10 kalsın sizde. Hayır, Yok valla kalsın. Hayır, hayır. Hakikaten. Hakikaten. Teşekkür ederim. Hayır, hayır. Kolay gelsin. Görüşürüz. Wow, we are getting uh, some gift too. It's actually lavender and uh, she said you can just put it in the wardrobe uh, among your clothes for a better smell. Ooh, that's a very strong. <laughs> okay, we got a little Turkish hospitality here. Uh, if you are purchasing something. It's always possibility you get something for free, especially when you are eating here. You get a tea for free sometimes. If they are uh, too generous, they might give you coffee for free. So, which is very very nice. And uh, many many shops here for souvenirs. And this uh, streets normally can get really really busy as well. Sometimes the cars are passing from here, sometimes scooters are passing by here, which, uh, which I'm not really a fan of. I wish like this type of streets have to be um, only for people so they can just close it down completely. But I do understand lots of tourists staying up uh, somewhere, so they have to get there with their luggage and stuff, so the cars have to pass anyway. But I'm sure there's some alternative ways to think about it, so it would be only reserved for people to pass by as they walk and do the shopping captain candy shop huh very interesting this is a this is something very very famous where i was living in prague in czech republic and uh, not have a best reputation i would say oh look at these we have the galata T galata tower guys i'm a uh, I'm seeing this almost uh, every day, so I shouldn't be really, really surprised. But there are some people actually at the top, so you can actually buy the ticket and go up and see the Istanbul from above, uh, which is incredible. This is a Güney restaurant. It's one of the iconic restaurants where you can eat uh, any time of the day, actually. Lunch, breakfast, dinner, it doesn't really matter. And of course, you're gonna come across lots of uh, dogs and cats who is just hanging around, enjoying their time here. We have an ice cream shop on the right side. Merhabalar. <laughs> Teşekkürler. And uh, this is a Salt Bay restaurant, uh, which I ate there one time and probably I will never go back. So overrated. I'm sure you can find much better restaurants uh, around the area. So this is uh, where we're gonna have our cake. It's called uh, Viana Kavesi. So you can actually come here get uh, some delicious you can actually get some delicious uh, cake let's have a look inside and see what's expecting us oh San Sebastian is here nice this is the famous San Sebastian okay we have a little music uh, situation here I think we're gonna just sit outside and then wait for the order to come Maybe let's uh, ask the gentleman. Merhaba. Merhaba, kolay gelsin. Ben arkada oturabiliyor muyum? Can I sit uh, behind and I want one Sebastian cake with chocolate and tea? Order on the table. Ah, on the table, okay, thank you. 
order on the table. All right, we're gonna do that. Oh, we can sit here and have the views. I'm not sure why this is on, but it's really, really hot right now. Especially I have a hoodie. So, you can enjoy your coffee here and the cake. And meanwhile, you are checking out the views to the Galata. Wow, it's really, really hot. Maybe I will ask uh, them to turn this heater on, which is just above me. All right, once we have the cake here with the tea, I'm gonna show you and also check out the prices and explain you how much we are paying. So we'll see you in a while. We have the San Sebastian here. Thank you. Please share something with us. Thank you. All right, guys, we have our green tea here, which I have ordered. Let's uh, start with this. Look at this. Green tea getting served, which will allow it to get a little bit colder, so it's gonna be faster to drink. And this is basically the San Sebastian. It's uh, very, very famous in this area. And uh, it's basically cheesecake, and on the top they're putting uh, milk chocolate, or depends uh, what type of chocolate you like. So it's like a melted milk chocolate on the top and then base is basically normal cheesecake but uh, much much uh, smoother texture so it's really really easy to eat and uh, so easy to digest too. Right, let me show you how it feels like the, as a texture. So when you go for a spoon it's really smooth like this. Like really smooth. It's so good. And then uh, you take some uh, chocolate chocolate on the top and basically you go for it mm. it's super super easy to eat easy to digest I guess too but lots of calories huh because the base itself is just a uh, cheese and then lots of chocolate on the top that adds up lots of calories into it San Sebastian cheesecake in Istanbul by the Galata Tower here. Mm. So good. And uh, we also have the green tea here, which is a beautiful combination. So if you get a coffee, it will be might be too heavy. So that's why I'm going for tea. And meanwhile, the area is getting quite busy. Uh, there's a huge line for Galata Tower. I've been there a few years ago. Not planning to go, it's really, really touristy. But you have a beautiful views to Istanbul. Meanwhile, you are on the top. And um, in a nice weather, you can just sit here, enjoy the views and have your tea, coffee, whatever you like. All right, I'm gonna finish my uh, cake and the tea. And then while we are paying, I will check out the prices and let you know as well. See you in a while. All right, our cake is done. I'm still drinking my tea, which is great. The sun is shining slowly. It's getting more and more busy here. More cars are arriving, more taxis. So I already paid for my uh, service and uh, actually the cake itself is only $8. And in total, we are paying 240 liras. With the current exchange rate, it's around uh, $12. So 12.2 is the, is the current uh, bill we are having, 12.2. Uh, so basically cake for $8 and then the tea was for $4. And uh, it's a little bit pricey for sure, but we are in a really touristy place by the Galata Tower. And uh, it's the same place that, which is called Viana, Viana Kavesi, which is literally means uh, Vienna coffee, like a city, Vienna. Uh, Vienna coffee, and you can actually get a little bit better prices in different uh, different branches. So here is really touristy, so they have a little bit higher rates too. Let's finish the tea, and I'm proceeding further. All right, let's close our gang. Give me a 
second, guys. To close my backpack. All right, time to go. So it's just by the Kalata Tower right here. You can see it and enjoy the views and the atmosphere. Ah, maybe we can proceed further to see what expecting us on this narrow street here. If you are not fan of uh, cakes or in general uh, fan of a uh, coffee, there is also a little local uh, cafe here where you can just sit down in the small chairs and you can have your tea or possibly they can serve you some uh, Turkish uh, coffee too. And in this uh, narrow street you find lots of different uh, little cafes and restaurants which is uh, super cute actually. Can you imagine like just sitting here in this beautiful place behind you you have a amazing artwork on the wall and also you have a little view to the Galata tower which we cannot really see it anymore. But uh, you always come up, come through this beautifully designed um, handmade stuff. This cup actually looks looks very very very nice. Maybe let's have a look. It's called uh, Halt, I think. Not sure if it's open. Merhabalar, kolay gelsin. Film yapabiliyor muyuz? Teşekkür ederim. Wow, we have these beautiful cups here. Oh, this looks amazing. Probably all of them are uh, handmade. This is actually for 240. This is an iconic sign in Turkey in general. Yeah. So maybe maybe we get something like this, something cute to put it on the table or something like that. This one is actually 120 lira, which is a good price for sure. We have some uh, necklaces here. We have a wallet too for 550 right there's also candles with the similar design Hello. I think I'm gonna go for this one should we go for a lady should we go for a man Hello. Oh, there's this uh, old gentleman let's go for the lady I don't know who this Hello. looks Hello. like but it's quite cute Hello. so Hello. we're gonna get this one they also have some Hello. pillows here Hello. handmade toys for the kids incredible Alright. Uh this one bunal jam. Teşekkür ederim. Ah, burada. Burada 150 var. Miyem baba şarkı. Ara sözünü veririm. Şarkı ve bu dostane vamekem kaynak. Ah, that's Farsi, no? Dostane vamekem kaynak kargalayı. I think he speaks Farsi, like Iranian. Sounds like it. Meanwhile, we can have a look at the... Oh, look at this. Some sexy cup here with the boobs. Ooh, this is some Christmas kind of decoration. Beautiful. That was Farsi, no? Yes. You speak Farsi? Yeah. You are Iranian? Yeah. Ah, nice, nice. I was in your country. Very beautiful. Yeah, I've been traveling uh, everywhere. Shiraz and Tehran, Tabriz. Huh? Ah, you're, you're on the call. Ah, sorry, sorry. Okay. He's on the call and more jewelry is here. Alright. Ah, it's fine. I don't need it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Ah, I have a change. Here you are. Thank you. Bye bye. Have a nice day. Thank you, you too, brother. Alright. We have our present, even though he was on the call during the whole process. But uh, we have something cute from the shop. Uh, there's a, another nice and interesting shop here, probably handmade everything. It's called uh, Koza Luck. Cute, nice places to shop and uh, also Enjoy the beauty of Istanbul while you are walking around uh, There's always something to shop. There's always something to eat uh, As you come through the narrow streets you find restaurants and cafes like here where you can get your food And then this is like a light design shop or something like that 
quite nice beautiful where we are right now oh it's a nice street as well if you take this street back it's gonna basically take you to Galata and that's uh, where I'm gonna head slowly all right ladies and gentlemen it's uh, it's time to sign out from Istanbul I'm gonna show you the views to Galata and uh, I will see you in the next one from Istanbul I'm not planning to go around the country but mainly stay in Istanbul and uh, record some vlogs for you to get the vibe of the city see you in the next one